Pence to speak on rule of law after Trump insists he could overturn election. So this hasn't happened yet, uh, but apparently Mike Pence is not taking kindly to Donald Trump uh, doing all of these. Donald Trump's back in, folks. He is back in. I don't know if anyone noticed this, but over the last like three, four months, he has been back in. Uh, he is, he's in the, he's campaigning for president. That's what he's doing. He's on a speaking tour every day. He's doing something new. He's cringing it up. And you know, whenever you're doing, whenever you're in this kind of world where you're in that feedback loop, where you're just like getting the right wing garbage and you're spewing out more right wing garbage, right? It constantly, it's like capitalism itself. Like it has to grow at all times, right? It's, it has to be very like, you know, slow and steady growth, right? So he's been getting more and more insane. And so Donald Trump recently said that, uh, well, first of all, I need to say Donald Trump is the loser of the 2020 election. Joe Biden is the winner of the 2020 election. If I don't say that, YouTube will misinterpret me. Um, Donald Trump lost the 2020 election, but Donald Trump insists that Mike Pence, for whatever reason, could have hacked the election, like, you know, IDKFA, you know, fucking like, pulled the secret book and the bookshelf opened and then the genie came out and granted Donald Trump three wishes, right? That, <laughs> it's not possible, uh, but Donald Trump somehow is under the illusion that that's the case. So, so Mike Pence, uh, who apparently uh, hasn't gotten a text back from Trump since last summer, according to a recent interview, Mike Pence said that Trump hasn't texted him back since summer. Man, that's cold. Um, but anyway, uh, former vice president, uh, Mike Pence will deliver an address about constitutional authority and the rule of law in America as he faces a withering barrage of criticism from his former boss for not interfering in the peaceful transfer of power from the Trump administration to the Joe Biden's presidency. Now, again, it's rich that Mike Pence is going to be talking about fucking rule of law. What about the first fucking amendment? When Mike Pence was vice president of the United States, there were cases, literally dozens of U.S. domestic journalists were have been shot by cops mostly with these non-lethal bullets, these rubber bullets that causes organ damage. Some journalists had their eyes gouged out by non-lethal bullets. Uh, you know, like, you know, some journalists died during the 2020 uprising over the police murder of George Floyd. Journalists, we're not talking about the rioters, the looters, miles out, cop made the blacks. We're not talking about them. We're talking about journalists. The freedom of the press was under attack in this country. So First Amendment, whatever. Second Amendment, we're talking about. Okay, now look about, th this is another case that I think really does detail into Second Amendment grounds as well as First. But there is a case, uh, well actually this isn't, this doesn't relate to, to, to this happened in Biden, never mind. Uh, but anyway, so look at other amendments like the unreasonable search and seizure. Uh, Donald Trump, you know, was president when cops uh, engaged in civil asset forfeiture. Record levels of civil asset forfeiture. It's legalized theft by cop. They can basically steal whatever they want. And then if you want it back, you have to prove innocence. You have to hire a lawyer and take the police department to court. And then maybe you'll get your money back. But more often than not, legal fees will outweigh whatever you're going to get back. They can steal whatever they want. Civil asset forfeiture accounted for more than all the burglaries in the entire country at, uh, like for any given year civil asset forfeiture was higher eighth amendment uh unreasonable uh uh no that's the that's the, what's the other one what's the eighth amendment i'm high uh the fucking killing people uh, the the cruel and unusual punishment that's right uh donald trump and mike pence when they were in office they were literally murder people like they brought back federal executions like hello like when donald trump during the 2020 uprising they literally, like, Donald Trump went on television and told federal police to go murder a left-wing activist, Michael Reinel, and they went and murdered him. They lied about it. They covered it up, deleted the body camera footage, and they got away with it. Isn't that, isn't that a little bit cruel and unusual to, like, you know, have the president of the United States? That's unusual, isn't it? It's certainly cruel to shoot someone when they don't even know you're there, shoot someone in the back and they die before they even realize what's happening. That's cruel for sure. But is that unusual? I don't know. That happens every day in this country with the record levels of gun violence. But you know what is unusual? Donald fucking Trump going on television and telling them to do it. Like what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like what? Whatever. So it's rich that these people are going to get into a battle over what the fuck the constitution says and doesn't say these are the most unconstitutional nutbags we've ever seen in our fucking lives take the oval office so i want to say that much again mike pence is not on this fucking oh i believe in the constitution oh do you you believe in the constitution 
What about the 25th Amendment to the Constitution that says that if someone is unfit to be president, they should not be in office? That's the 25th Amendment. You didn't believe in the Constitution after fucking Donald Trump and his supporters literally tried to have you killed. They were chanting, they built a gallows, and they were chanting, hang Mike Pence, as they stuffed into the Capitol looking for him. It was later released uh, during the impeachment trial and more in the January 6th committee that Mike Pence was like within a minute's reach of these uh, insurrectionists that were chanting, hang Mike Pence. They were down the fucking halls. And even then, Mike Pence didn't care about the 25th Amendment. Where has Mike Pence been on 14th Amendment Section 3 that says any politician uh, that gives aid or comfort to those engaging in insurrection are banned and expelled from office for the rest of their lives? Has he been going on statements, uh, you know, talking about how Donald Trump should be banned from running? Has he been talking about how the entire Republican Party should effectively be banned from office? No. So all, all of a sudden he cares about the Constitution. Okay, fucking whatever. Mr. Pence will speak uh, on Friday in Florida, the Washington Post. Can I close this? Okay. First reported uh, about what a spokesperson told the Post would be an address on the constitutional principles and the rule of law. Okay, the rule of law. Again, I, these Republicans, it's all projection. It's all crybaby loser garbage. It's all a bunch of fucking stupid ass, fucking dumbass motherfucking garbage. Though, uh, though the statement did not mention it, Mr. Pence's event comes just days after Trump launched a new barrage of attacks against Mr. Pence, wrongly asserting that he had the power to overturn the 2020 election and openly insisting that the vice president should have done so despite every uh, court challenge of Mr. Trump's 2020 defeat coming up short. The former vice president has remained active on the political state uh, since his remained active on the, com the political state. That's language I'm not familiar with. Um, since his public break with Mr. Trump of the campaign to overturn the 2020 election last year, Mr. Trump has publicly and privately exoriated his former running mate while at the same time engaging in efforts to purge the GOP of any who did not go along with his false claims about voter fraud. Uh, anyway, so it seems that Pence and Trump are going to get into a fight. This would be great if it to, uh, turns into the Republican primary, if they're fighting on the debate stage of any kind. That would be fucking amazing to watch. Uh, but again, none of these people care about the fucking Constitution. Mike Pence didn't give a shit about the fucking Constitution from 2017 all the way to 2021. He didn't give a fuck about the Constitution. He still doesn't give a fuck about the Constitution. All right, so I need you to understand that. He's a fucking loser. But so is Trump. And it's really just the biggest loser right here. This is the battle for the biggest fucking loser. And, I, you know, I personally think Trump's going to win that battle because he's, you know, he's just he's the bigger loser. Right. So let's be honest. Um. But again, Joe Biden won the 2020 election. Donald Trump lost bigly. He lost epic style. Uh, so there you go.